Hi, I'm John Apolito, and this course is going to introduce you to the challenges of and best practices for preserving digital artifacts or what we'll come to know as variable media. Now, we're used to the idea of art preservation as something that is well understood, practiced by conservators and climate controlled vaults, um, an esoteric practice that only a few experts need to do to keep culture alive. And that's completely wrong. It's made wrong by the variety and variability of types, formats, and social structures of new media. The media birthed by the 21st century uh, computing uh, and internet. So um, this course is going to introduce you to ways to counteract that obsolescence and make the world safe for digital media. We're used to the idea, again, of taking an artifact, typically a painting, but in the 20th century could be a computer, and preserving it by storing it, keeping it static, putting it in a crate, in some climate controlled vault, and that's going to keep it for good. However, that's a method, a strategy, called storage, uh, as a kind of generic term, that is almost guaranteed to fail in the digital age. Putting a computer in a crate is not the way to preserve our future, at least uh, if we want to look beyond 5, 10, 20 years from now. A much better strategy, and one that's got actually a longer pedigree in human society, is the idea of social memory. That, in fact, it's not experts and technologies that preserve culture, but ordinary people. People engaged in a kind of collective action of preserving, rescuing, remixing sometimes the culture around them. And we're going to look at that as a kind of metaphysical idea, the difference between longevity, mortality, but also as an idea that cuts across traditional notions of gatekeeping. Uh, museums, traditionally as the authoritative bastions of culture, have to give way to entire communities, uh, so often of amateurs, if they want to learn how to preserve culture through current techniques like emulation, crowdsourcing, and the like. So more about that uh, later in the course.